We are here today to remember the 14 young women who were killed in the massacre at the École Polytechnique in Montreal on the 6th of December, 1989. Anne-Marie Edward was 21 years old, a chemical engineering student who loved outdoor sports like skiing, diving, baseball, and riding. She had learned to kayak and was involved in the college's student council. Anne-Marie Lemay, 22, was a fourth-year mechanical engineering student who participated in the organization of the graduation festivities at school. Outside of school, she sang in a band and was helping raise funds for a class trip overseas. Annie St. Apneau, 23, was a mechanical engineering student who had a passion for ecology. She had a job interview with Alcan Aluminum the following day, had she survived. When she was younger, she represented the local 4-H club at the provincial level. Annie Turcotte, 21, a first-year student who had won a scholarship for women in science after her college diploma. She was a diver and also a member of her high school swim team. She chose to study metallurgical engineering in hopes of contributing to the protection of the environment one day. Barbara Dagno, 22. She was due to graduate in mechanical engineering at the end of the year and was also a teaching assistant for her father, who was a professor of mechanical engineering at the Université du Québec à Montréal. Barbara Kluznik Vidajovic, 31. A first year nursing student who came with her husband from Poland to Montreal in 1987 with a dream of a new life in the safest country. This economist by training had given up her first career in order to take up nursing. Geneviève Bergeron, 21. A second year scholarship student in mechanical engineering who was remembered as a bubbly girl. She played the clarinet and sang in a professional choir. In her spare time, she played basketball and swam. Hélène Colgan, 23. A final year mechanical engineering student who planned to do her master's degree. She was a studious young woman who read everything that came to hand and already had three job offers. Maryse Lagagnère, 25. Maryse worked in the school's finance department and was the only non-student killed that day. She was appreciated by her colleagues and was considered a very gentle and calm person. She had only been married for three months at the time of her death. Maryse Leclerc, 23 was a fourth-year metallurgical engineering student who only had a year to go before graduation. She was one of the top students in the school and had acted in plays in junior college. She was the first victim whose name was known as she was found by her father, Lieutenant Pierre Leclerc of the Montreal Police Service. Maud Avienic, 29, was a second year metallurgical engineering student and a graduate in environmental design from the Université du Québec à Montréal. She returned to university to realize a dream of becoming an engineer. She was considered a very energetic person. Michel Richard, 21 was a second-year metallurgical engineering student who was loved by all. She was raised by a single mother 
and some time before her death she had reconciled with her absent father as she wanted his presence when she was to get married. Her father committed suicide almost a year after her death. Nathalie Croteau, 23, another mechanical engineering student who had only three months left before graduating. She had planned to take a two-week vacation in Cancun, Mexico at the end of that month. Sonia Pelletier, 28. Sonia was killed the day before she was to graduate with her degree in mechanical engineering. She had a job interview lined up for the following week and dreamed of returning to her hometown to start her own engineering firm. 14 beautiful lives were lost because they were women. Today we remember them. May you rest in peace.